you don't know about me, I'm not English. <laughs> I'm French Canadian. So I descend from Europeans, French Europeans, who moved to Canada in 1595 and the early 1600s. And uh, from my father, I descend from people who were called Rocheron. It's still my name, although I use Blake as my married name. But Rocheron, it means Roche, stone, rond, circle. I descend from people who build stone circle. And uh, my answer, I've only discovered that four years ago, and uh, it explained many things in my life, actually, <laughs> because what brought me here was Stonehenge. I always resonated to that, and I was uh, offered uh, to, uh, I was given a grant to come to U Europe to study arts. And when I was 23, and uh, I said I wanted to come to England, to my mother's absolute disgust, because you know that the English people are traditionally the... Um, enemy, and in Canada we have long memories. So she was very upset, and I said, she said, why, why don't you go to the land of your ancestors? I said, I don't know, but Stonehenge really attracts me, and I really want to go there. I came for six months, Grant, and I'm still here, and that was 1970. <laughs> so I was very attracted to Stonehenge, and Stonehenge still resonates with me very strongly, anything to do with stone, and also, of course, the crop circle, which are always, it seems, appearing near, near these monuments, uh, almost as if, as if they want to bring us back to that ancient knowledge that Robin is talking about, and that is so important for us. I'm not very, uh, I don't find mathematics easy, and I have great difficulty understanding these things, but I know, I know intuitively uh, that it is very important that we need to study that, we need to get that, that ancient knowledge. My, my, my take on ancient knowledge or my connection with ancient knowledge has more to do with traditions of um, what I say, esoteric tradition or symbolic meaning. I'm not, in, not so much in the measurement. I was useless at maths. I found it so boring. I just can't tell you. But anything to do with myth, anything to do with uh, symbols of tradition, different traditions, speak to me very strongly. And uh, of course, uh, we don't understand every symbol. Crop circles is a symbol. I mean, the circle is the basis of all, of all, of all symbols, really. It's also uh, the basis of all mathematics and measurement, isn't it? The circle? Not? One of them. Well, OK, I'm not going to venture into these things, because I don't know enough about it. Right, now I've just messed this up as well, which is pretty stupid. <clears throat> I must learn to press the right button. Let's do this one. No, I've done it again. <laughs> Blast. Can you do that again? I've just, which one is it? This one, this one. Must be that one. Ah, where, which one, where am I supposed to play? I don't know what, where am I supposed to press? I press different places, I get the same result. Yeah, that's the this. right one. There you are. Okay, so the, the basis of all symbols is the circle, because a symbol is the division of the circle. That I understand. It speaks to me. And uh, I understand that when you put two circles together, well, you have the Visca Piscis. Now, the Visca Piscis is the womb, is the womb of the universe, is the female aspect. This is where everything has come from, you know? It is the passage from the unmanifest into the manifest comes into a womb and it, it, it appears. It is also the basis of geometry. Am I right? Good. <laughs> so the, we basically, the symbols in crop circles are based on the circle, and it is showing the division of the circle. And uh, I, I have seen that it sometimes it's divided by three and by four. We saw that one from birth the other day. So there's four and six. You know, you've got six. Uh, Maltese cross here, you've got, a you've got a square in a circle. Would that be squaring the circle, possibly? But anyway, there I see that it's divided into four, and it has six Maltese cross, and then that's an example of a pentagon, and, and a pentagon, actually, pentagram, rather, which is a circle that is, in that, in that case, divided into five. And here we have six, examples of six, and seven, 
and uh, dividing a, a circle in seven is not that easy. Uh, eight, these are just examples of many. Then we have many examples of the circles divided into nine, divided into, here you have 10 on the outside, five and 10, and 12, 30, is it 13? 12, isn't it? 12, that's 16, isn't it? Eight, 16, and oh, no, I've lost count anyway. Um, and this, I have notes somewhere which I've written, but that was quite extraordinary because you have, as divided by five, 18. 18, divided by 18. You've got six in the middle, and then you've got three times, three times six, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've, I have did, I did count the number of circles and I noted it down and I can't find my notes, but the, the number here is remarkable. 36. 36. 36, four times? That's 144. 144, that's the number I wanted to know. And I did know that, but I don't have it in front of me. But 144 in many tradition is very important, isn't it? This one has, I think it's 227 or something. It is a very high number. And there is a story that didn't go down too well when it happened. We were absolutely ostracized because of this. Uh, not our, own, our fault, and I'll tell you the story because I would like this to be <coughs> known exactly what happened. Uh, we had our conference at the Devizer School, and um, on a Sunday morning, we had invited Mr. Str uh, Dr. Strachan, and he is a minister, and uh, he had warned me not to put him on Sunday morning because he wanted to talk to us about um, symbolism and uh, various different, different things. He didn't want to be kind of put in the slot where he felt that he had to be giving a mass or doing a mass it was Sunday morning. Didn't want to, he didn't want to feel put on the spot on a Sunday morning <clears throat> because of his religious connection and so on. And I said, that's all right, I'll put you on Saturday, you don't need to wait. And the person on Saturday couldn't come and the only slot he could have was Sunday morning and he was a bit put out. So he, he came to sp speak and he said, I can't, I, I just cannot give you the lecture I prepared, which I spent several months to do. I can't give it to you because it's Sunday morning, and I don't feel that I, I, has, I have to do something religious on Sunday morning. You know, it's, otherwise I feel awful. So I have a, a nice idea, he said. We'll go outside and we will sing. Now, there were a lot of us uh, those days in, 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 the, in the hall at that time. And so we couldn't, we had to go outside and we thought we'd do one big circle with too many people. Then we tried tr two circles, too many people. And then we finally we did three circles and we were absolutely kind of like this, you know, because it wasn't very big space behind the college. And there was a lot of us. So we, 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 we kind of go like that. We make that shape actually. And um, there we are, we start singing hymns. Um, now in the meantime, uh, what happened was that we couldn't get the helicopter for that weekend and we liked to have the helicopter landing there and taking pe people and seeing the latest crop circles, you see. So they were doing that while we were kind of starting to sing hymns and it's been going on all day. So in the morning, the pilot was always doing, as they do when you do tours with us, they do the same trajectory, you know, they work out a trajectory to give you seven or eight or 10 circles depending. And he had done his trajectory, and he'd, he'd already done the Saturday, so he knew, and he had done two in the morning, because we did that at about 11, I think. So he had already done two tours, and that was fine. And he dropped the people, and we would sort of get into circles, and another lot start off. And when he goes to fly around, within that 20 minutes, this had arrived. And I was told by the people who were in the airplane that the pilot was so shocked that he banked the plane like this. And uh, he said, what? He banked up like that. And everybody was going, what's going on? What's going on? Well, it wasn't here 20 minutes ago. 